In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at animating UI components in a native script Angular 2 application. So when it comes to animating UI components, there's actually several ways that you can do this. Uh, so we're only going to focus on one of those ways right now. Uh, we'll explore other ways in future tutorials. The way that we're going to explore is we're actually going to be using CSS to perform these animations. Uh, so you can actually use what's called CSS keyframes, uh, which is common on the web. Uh, so we're going to make use of this feature in a native script, native mobile application. So it's going to be very smooth, uh, very nice to look at. Uh, so to make this as easy as possible to follow, what we're going to do is we're going to start a new project. Uh, so as you can see, I do have my terminal open. I do have a simulator open. It's, a, it's an iOS simulator. Uh, this will work for, for Android as well. So use the simulator or device of your choice and it should work fine. Uh, so from your from your terminal, go ahead and create a new project. And we're going to give it the ng tag uh, to say that this is an Angular 2 project. So the project is created, so let's go ahead and navigate into it. And we're going to add our uh, whatever build platform we want to build for. So again, I'm going to be using iOS. You can use Android as well. However, if you're not using a Mac, you cannot build for iOS. So we're going to say TNS platform add iOS. Perfect. And I'm going to clear my terminal. So now I am going to open up my project in an IDE of choice. So I'm going to be using Atom. You could use whatever you want, Visual Studio Code or Notepad or whatever you want. So I'm going to say Atom. I'm going to open it. And at this point, we do have our project, so our baseline starter project. Uh, so we're going to spend all of our time instead of the app directory, and we're going to spend our time in the app.css file, the app component.html file. So just those two files. We're not going to be doing any, any kind of TypeScript in this particular uh, tutorial. So it's all going to be HTML and CSS. So let me zoom in on my uh, editor here so that way it's a little easier to read. Go ahead and clear out whatever is in the CSS file. And then in our app component.html file, uh, we're going to wipe out everything inside of the stack layout. So we'll leave the stack layout, but we're going to wipe out everything inside. All right. So the thing that we're going to be animating, we're just going to do a very simple animation, but you know what? Simple animations can make a world of difference in an application. Uh, it gives it that much more pizzazz or whatever you want to call it. So we're going to, we're going to animate a button. So we're going to say uh, the button is uh, spinning or spin and we're going to close it off. All right. So the next thing we want to worry about is our CSS. So we're going to come back to this button, uh, but let's go ahead and start doing some CSS stuff first. So inside of our CSS file, this is our global CSS file. You can always have local CSS files as well, uh, but this is our global file. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a class called spin or a class name called spin if you want to be very technical with it. So we're also going to create a keyframe animation uh, for this spin class. So let's go ahead and call it keyframes spin. And now we have now we have two parts here. Uh, so if you if you've never worked with uh, CSS animations before, so our spin class name is going to call uh, this particular keyframes animation. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back into spin, and we're going to say animation name. Uh, we're going to use spin because that's the name of our animation, not the name of our class name. So I could have named it something else if I wanted to. We're going to say that the animation duration, so how long this animation is going to happen for, we're going to say one second. It could be very fast. It could be very slow. It's up to you. Uh, the next thing that we want to say is an animation delay. Uh, so when should the animation start after having loaded the component? Uh, so again, I'm going to say one second. So after one second, it'll spin and then it'll spin for one second long. So that's our three parts of our class name. So going into our keyframes animation, uh, we're going to add a few things. So we're going to say from, so this is uh, the starting animation point. I'm going to say transform. We're going to say rotate. 
and we're going to say start at zero degrees. And we're going to uh, animate two. This is our endpoint. Uh, so we're going to say transform, rotate 360 degrees. So this will put it in a full circle. And we're going to save. So this is, again, this is a very simple animation. There's a whole a slew of documentation online for CSS when it comes to animating with CSS keyframes. Uh, but ours is going to be very simple for now. So going back into app component, uh, we're going to go to our button and we're going to give it a class. So we're going to say class equals spin because that's what we call it. Remember this is the class name, not the animation keyframes, even though we name them the same. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to open up my uh, my simulator as well as my command prompt and I'm going to say TNS emulate iOS so it just did install it and you can see that the spin already took place so it waited a second and then it spun so let's see if I can reproduce that again by uh, backing out of this application Probably need to edit, com exit completely out. All right, I clicked it, and you can see that it spun. And again, uh, buttons in in iOS, in my personal opinion, they're not very attractive out of the box. Uh, but that is a native iOS button. Uh, you can always style it further if you want. They'll look different on Android. Uh, but that's kind of outside of the scope of what we're trying to prove here. We're just trying to prove that, hey, you know what? We just we just demonstrated a CSS animation. It was very smooth. There was no lag at all in the animation. Uh, that's because it is a native animation. So these native components uh, actually animated.